Hello everybody, it's that time of year again, scarifying and dethatching. Now, um, this this lawn here was a really quite a nice looking lawn, but um, the lady asked me to dethatch it. Um, she actually asked me last year, but it was it was too wet um, when she asked me, and then all of a sudden the sun came out, and the um, here on Halen. And we're mostly clay under the surface. And once the um, clay bakes hard, the scarifier just rides up on top of the, that crust and won't dig in. So what I'm using on my machine is the aerating tool, which is a bladed, um, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see in the grass, there's lines where the blades have gone in that cuts the surface to let the water in, cuts the grass roots to promote new growth and rips the thatch and moss out. Now, if you don't know what I mean by thatch, now if you can if you can see in this grass, um, you can see how much I've taken out. There's still loads in there, but don't go mad and go and do your garden two or three times because you're just ripping the guts out of it. Your machine is designed. You know you can see how much has come out to aerate the lawn to let new growth. You need to do it. Do it once and then leave it do it again later in the year but it all depends where you are here we can't do thatch in the summer because it's just too hot and dry um because once it takes three to four weeks for your lawn to come back after dethatching and um we get a very small window in the spring and the autumn to do it because well once the clay gets wet the slitter just cuts the surface and doesn't rip anything out um so you've got to sort of find your window. I get a sort of two or three week window to get all my dethatching done on my lawns um, before it gets too hot. Now you think this sun here, it's only the end of March. Um, look how dry it is, it's like the middle of summer. Um, and then we had a problem a year before last where we had those hot summers and I was scared to scarify people's lawns because they wouldn't come back because we didn't get any rain. So I've gone for it early on this lady's lawn it's already dry enough, but not too dry that it's got a crust on. But if you see what I'm pulling out here, this is what's lurking in your lawn, even if you've got a nice lawn. This is all dead. You can see in there, dead grass, moss, leaf litter. It's just dead. And that's just compacting underneath your grass. You're never going to get a decent lawn all the time. That is hiding underneath. You need to rip that out. To let the UV light get into the lawn um, and let the water in. So you can, if you haven't got a machine, you've only got a small lawn. You can do it with a wire grass rake. They do sell a handheld um, scarifier, but don't buy it. It's really hard work, even on a tiny lawn. Um, but you think like this lawn here? That's, that took me about an hour to to scarify you know, it'll take an hour or so to just rake up if you do it go and have a cup of tea let it dry rake that up um, you will get thatch for the next two or three cuts that's just you suck up with your machine um, get your weed and feed on and leave it let it work if you've got to reseed any areas you need to put a sort of top dressing on seed won't germinate unless it's in contact with soil you can't just throw it on the grass doesn't work like that um, anyway that was just a quick video on dethatching and what look is lurking is you look at this here God, look at it it's so thick hard to push the machine through it is so thick see it, it lifts all these long tendrils of grass up and what you need to do is when you're raking it up um, you could do a cut in it afterwards to cut all those tendrils of thatch that are standing up. Um, but as a business, we used to cut afterwards when there was two of us, but you don't make any money. Anyway, that's a quick dethatching video. Any questions? Cheers, God, bye.